anyway, I'm on, uh, I hope you're all better than me, I fucked up. I, um, I, I got a call yesterday morning from my boss, do I want to do a, a load to Nashville, and uh, then down to Florida. Hell yeah, that works for me, big miles, 7,000 mile round trip. Big money, that works for me. So I had to nip up and get my trailer, I didn't have a trailer at home, because uh, it was in getting the APU done. The APU is working, let me tell you. I'll do some. I'll do something on that later in the week. I'll give it a bit of a chance to see um, how good it is actually working or not working. Because it thinks it worked last night, so we'll see. Anyway, I'll do a little bit more on that later. So I um, got loaded. I got across. I was running late, so I called them up. I said I'm going to make the six o'clock. This is the where I was loading it. 250, 300 miles over to Eastern Washington from our yard. So that's from up by the Canadian border. So. I uh, hightailed it over there, it was for 5 or 6 o'clock, I got there at 6.30 anyway, I called ahead, they said, don't worry about it, come on in, we'll load you. There's a pack house, anybody who does uh, uh, France, Spain will know what pack house is, they're exactly the same over here. The, the produce places where they pack everything, pack house. Says it all, doesn't it? Um, anyway, so, I got loaded at midnight last night, 1 o'clock by the time I got my paperwork. Not happy, sat about, it was like doing strawberries, uh, in Spain or something, they want you there and then you wait until night for the produce, but hey, uh, there you go. Got it on, slept in the in their yard, not a problem, sleeping there. There was everybody and their mother in there waiting to get loaded. So I didn't do too bad waiting six hours, I suppose. But got to sleep, got up this morning at six o'clock, made myself a cup of tea, hightailed it out of there. Looked at my uh, bill of lading, my load and everything, 43, 43,000 pound. That's okay, I can do 45 and a half, maybe a bit more. So I'm going to be all right. It was loaded to the back door, so I know they put singles on in the front. Happy days, ain't going to be overweight, is it? So I didn't bother weighing it like a schoolboy dumbass, didn't I? Shut out them. Let's be on, let's kick ass, let's get to Nashville. Um, comes over that when you when you cross the state line over here, the, uh, there's nine times out of ten you'll find that there's a weigh scale right next to the state line. So as soon as you come over, you're going to get weighed, or at least in the in within the next nearest 10 mile. So, I, uh, comes over the, come over, over the, uh, what is it, Columbia River, come over this big old river, Columbia River, and then you've got a scale when you get into Oregon, on the right hand side, you're going to pull off the scale. I seized the police officer, she's in the car park doing a check on a vehicle, and, uh, so, sometimes there's another person working in the scale as well, or sometimes there's only one, or he's working on the other scale, there's two scales there. So, I come over the scale, the front axle's all right, it's under 1,200, happy days. Second axle, I'm a 1,000 pound under, on my drive axle, that's okay. Sticks my trailer axles on, I'm 38,000 pound. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm surely not, dead on 38,000 pound, I thought there's something wrong with that scale. Smack on to the button. I thought, no, no, there's something wrong with that scale. Luckily, there's nobody in the scale house watching the, the scale, because you get a red LED so I can see it. But if nobody sat there, nobody's watching it. I'm off the scale, aye. Bloody hell. That's not good. So, off I go. Uh, I comes out of there, pulls out of there. I thought, I've got to go away this. Pulls into the first truck stop, weighs it off. Sure enough. Where's my ticket? Sure enough. Look at that. Uh, nearly uh, 3,000 3, pound overweight. Gross. What is it? To uh, 2,800 rather. Uh, 4,060 over on my rear axle. Which hell the hell that is so heavy back there. I really don't know. There can't be anything at the front. I don't know what they've done. How they've loaded. I should have jumped a bit. But schoolboy arrow, I was out of there when I. Never mind. But now I've got a predicament. Now I'm fucked. If I'd have got caught on that scale, I'd have been proper fucked. That would have been a call out. I wouldn't have been able to move anywhere. Just take E, dear. I would have been really like, uh, I think I think my boss, something would have been involved with the rough end of a yard brush or something like that, he would have been proper, not happy, would have been expensive. But that puts me in another predicament, I'm now in Oregon, yeah, over the state line. My pack house is 60 mile back into Washington, fuck, 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 yeah, I have to go back over the state line pass another way scale to get back to the farm, to the back house, to resort this shitty load out that 
I fucked up, they fucked up, whoever's fucked up, I blame myself entirely. So, now, I find myself back row scratching to dodge the scale. Because I can't go over the Washington one because that's really naughty there. They pull everybody in there. They'll be all over you in that one. And they, they'll be really not, not happy. A little hitless in there. Anyway, so, you have to, I'm doing a little bit of back row scratching, dodging the scale, trying to get back to the, um, the farm to take this load and get it sorted out. So hopefully, We'll keep the smokies off off the back door. I should be all right if I get there. I've got another, uh, I've got 40 miles to do. So hopefully we can get there. So my nice little drive is gonna be turning out to be having to kick ass. Because when I get back to the farm, it's 2,000, 2,400 miles to, to where I'm going. It's just outside of Nashville. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do it, do a little bit, as you do. But not to worry, going through Wyoming and all there, it's 80 mile an hour speed, living 75 and stuff like that through the middle. So we should be able to get some big mileage days of 750s and stuff like that. So it's not too much of a worry yet. And I don't unload till Saturday morning, uh, nine o'clock. So touch wood, hopefully things will be all right. So there's the update. I'll be down in Nashville for the weekend and then uh, heading down to or somewhere near Nashville and then heading down to Florida. So hopefully this APU will keep working. So don't forget, wash your bloody hands and we'll catch you all later. Bye bye.